Hello and welcome. So we're gonna start the series by going over how to install the Unity Editor on Microsoft Visual Studio because this is what's gonna allow us to develop our Timberland style game. We'll go over the steps on macOS in this tutorial. As you can see, I'm doing this tutorial on macOS High Sierra running on a 2010 iMac, which is pretty old at this point, but it will be sufficient to run the Unity Editor. I believe the minimum system requirement for the Unity Editor on Macs is macOS 10.12. So any Mac machine that's running at least macOS 10.12 will work for this tutorial series. Okay, now open up your browser and search for Unity. And then go to the download search result. Or you can go to this page directly using this address. Download the Unity Hub by clicking on this box. The Unity Hub is what's gonna manage all of our Unity releases and projects. It's gonna make everything much easier to manage. Locate the DMG installation file that you've just downloaded for the Unity Hub on your computer. Double click on the installation file, hit agree, and then move the Unity Hub app to your applications folder. Now launch the Unity Hub. If this is your first time running the Unity Hub, as I'm sure that it is, then it will prompt you to install a release of the Unity Editor. We'll skip the installation because we want to install it ourselves in a bit. It will also ask if you want to activate a license. We'll pass on that now because we want to do that ourselves so that you know how it's done. Now click on the profile icon from up here and then select create account. Because to use Unity, you need an account and a valid license. It will quickly take you to this web page where it will ask you to enter your account information like your email address and password. Once you've filled in this information and agreed to the terms, click on create a Unity ID. If you create an account, it will either ask you to verify your information from your email or it will prompt you to open the Unity Hub from this page. If it's the latter case, then just do that. Since I already have an account, I'm just gonna sign in using my credentials. Hit open link so that the browser can authenticate your account information inside the Unity Hub. Now click on the setting wheel from up here, which will take you to the preferences of the Unity Hub. And then select licenses from the left bar. Click add license to obtain a Unity license. Choose get a free personal license. Agree. Okay, now we have a valid license. Now close the preferences window and go to installs to install the Unity Editor on Visual Studio. We want to click install editor and be sure to select the 2020 release because it's the most compatible with the widest range of specs. Also, because it's the most stable release as of the making of this tutorial. I guarantee you that everything we'll be doing with the 2020 release in this series is upward compatible. And if for some reason it becomes incompatible, then you can count on me updating the tutorials for this series promptly. Hit install. Now we want to be sure to install all the additional necessary packages like Visual Studio, which I already have installed, and Android and iOS support, so that we can build our game for either platform. And let's also download the documentation for Unity, because we'll rely on it to develop our Timberland clone. Now hit continue. Agree and hit install. Now just wait for the download and installation to complete. It could take some time depending on how fast your internet connection is or how fast your computer is. You can track the download and installation progress from the Downloads tab. Once it's done downloading and installing, we're ready to create our Temperam project. Go to Projects and then select No Project. From Core Template, select 3D since we'll be developing our game in 3D. Choose a location for this project on your computer. I'm gonna put this project on a new folder which I'm gonna call Unity 3D. Then hit Select Folder. You could choose a different location if you like. Let's give our Unity project a name. I'll name it Endless underscore Runner. But you can name it anything you'd like. Now hit Create Project. And this is our scene, our virtual environment, where we're going to develop our game in future tutorials. So this marks the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to start populating our scene with the bridge segments that the player is going to run on. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.